Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a new hot topic and that is why are people hating on this game, Palea? If you don't know what Palea is, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to tell you what this new game is all about and why it isn't hitting the mark with members of a certain gaming community. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is Palea. It's a newly developed IP by the studio Singularity 6 that revolves around creating a cozy home inside of a bright and peaceful world. In this game, you gather resources by fishing, foraging, hunting, mining, or even bug catching in order to level up the skills needed to build your dream house. You can play with friends and invite them to your home, and you can even romance the NPCs by rizzing them up through quests and gifting. The one thing you can't do in Paleo, however, is die. That's right, there's no PvE or PvP content in this game, which is where things get interesting. You see, Paleo is built like an MMORPG. After building your character, you are dropped into an open world where you can pick up quests and level up your skills to progress further. There are other players around you that you can interact and chat with. You can level up your tools too, and you have to repair them so they don't break down over time. Sometimes while gathering, you'll get rare drops that are higher in value, or see a rare mob that gives better rewards. This game feels like someone took the PvP out of New World and gave it a Disney Dreamlight skin on top. There is no mistake that mechanically speaking, this game was definitely inspired by previous MMOs. The problem is, is that the MMO mechanics in this game did something that I don't think the developers were prepared for. It attracted the MMO community. If you didn't already know, the MMO community is one of the most critical and most demanding group of gamers ever to lurk the depths of the internet. This is made too obvious when you look at Palea's official subreddit and their Discord channel. Since the game was in alpha and through both its closed and open betas, users have been tearing this game apart online. While some offer valid criticisms, others have delivered super harsh judgment on a game that's barely even out yet. And why is this exactly? Well. Let's break it down. One of the key reasons Palea has been facing backlash is the misaligned expectations between what the game offers and what players anticipate from an MMORPG. Gamers have grown accustomed to certain features in MMOs like epic battles, vast open worlds, and challenging quests. Palea, on the other hand, leans heavily into the casual, cozy gameplay, and that's not necessarily what the MMO crowd is seeking. Although some players seem to understand that the game is about having a relaxing gathering experience, others are projecting their desire for features that haven't been delivered well in an MMO genre for a long time. Unfortunately, the state of MMO games has been pretty abysmal for years, and the people that jump into this new game looking for some quality catharsis in their favorite genre are just going to be let down. It's not really an MMO, but since it feels so much like one, it's attracting the criticism as if it were. Palea seems to be caught in a bit of an identity crisis. While it shines like an MMO, it doesn't quite deliver on the core elements that make them so appealing. The lack of traditional progression systems, combat, and intricate dungeons leaves the players feeling like they're in an MMO light experience. It's like wanting a slice of pizza and getting rice cake instead. The gathering system, NPC relationships, and explorable areas are all great, but they feel pretty shallow when looked at separately. You'd think that if the game was lacking in its MMO based mechanics that it would make up for it in its life sim mechanics instead but it doesn't seem to lean hard enough into them either. The housing plot system is terrific, but the plot itself feels really isolated. The furniture that you spend hours building isn't even usable, and the lacking social systems mean that there's a chance no one will ever see your house anyway. Now, MMOs are all about social interaction, right? Forming parties and embarking on adventures with friends or even strangers. Unfortunately, uh, Palea's design choices make it easy to play alone, and this contradicts the essence of an MMO. This has left some players feeling isolated and disconnected, missing out on the camaraderie that other titles are known for. It might just be me, but the global chat box is almost invisible while playing the game. It's very easy to miss. 
there's no voice chat either. And when somebody types something out, there's no text above their head or any indicator that they're trying to communicate with you. In other games built on these same mechanics, you always felt like you could easily run into someone and have some short-lived fun while playing with them. But Paley's lacking social system seems to put a chain around its own ankles when it comes to these types of experiences. Another gripe among players is the ambiguous endgame. MMOs often offer endgame activities like raiding, competitive PvP, or deep community-based systems. In Paleo, the endgame is hazy, leaving players wondering what lies ahead once they've exhausted the initial activities. The resources just get harder and harder to find, and because of its lacking social system, the appeal of a bigger and better house starts to seem a little aimless. What do you do when you max out this game? Is the point of the game to get married to every single NPC? Is it to hoard every piece of available furniture? This lack of clarity is a major turnoff for MMO enthusiasts seeking long-term engagement. I personally understand that life sims are more about the experience along the way than the end game, but people looking for like an MMO-like title might not get it. So there you have it. The reason why a lot of people are hating on Paleo is because it walks like an MMO and it talks like an MMO, but at the end of the day, really isn't one. It's a cozy game that has the right ingredients, but doesn't quite deliver on that MMO RPG experience that a chunk of its new players are expecting. These misaligned expectations are the reason why we're seeing so much criticism for this game online. Remember though, it's not that Paleo is a bad game at all. I for one have loved playing it. It's just facing a challenge between bridging the gap of its cozy gameplay and the all-consuming expectations of the content-starved MMO enthusiasts. The reality is that this just isn't the next big thing in the MMO space. It's Animal Crossing meets RuneScape, and that's okay. In a perfect world, the developers will be able to meet and exceed some of the desires of the people who want to sink MMO levels of time into their new title, but until then, we should look at things for what they are and not just what we want to see in them. And that's it, folks. What are your thoughts on the game? Have you played it? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're into more nuanced and informative gaming content like this. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, I'll see you around.